Tri City Radio 98.7 CKPM FM. That's uh, Bale and Sister of Pearl. It's 827. Good morning. It's Rod McBeth, the Tri City Morning Show. More guests now. Uh, four lads. Uh, they're not from Liverpool. They're from the Coco <laughs> Lameria. Clavanova Knights. Uh, it's a good thing you're not from Syria, otherwise it'd be Balaclava Knights, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to get in trouble for that. So, uh, you guys are a quartet that uh, you uh, you play jazz and like uh, Michael Bublé kind of yeah, stuff. Swing, everything. you know, Frank Sinatra, yeah. Dean Martin, all that good stuff. Yeah. We, love, we love it. Old school, but the good school, yeah. The good school. Yeah, it, it's, it's nice. And uh, watching you, uh, First off, you guys were the uh, audience favorites at the uh, BC Talent Search over at Inlet Theatre on Sunday night. You kicked off the show. I was uh, totally blown away by you. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, Jamie, you're the singer? Yes, that's, that's me. Yeah. How did you get uh, singing? Like, what, what started this? Um, I started singing when I was uh, about grade six or seven. I started becoming interested in um, standards and all that good stuff. And um, my first song that I've ever performed on stage and playing my piano is um, What a Wonderful World. Uh, yeah. Sung by Louis Armstrong, and I, you know, I just completely love that song. And from then, you know, I've just been kicking back, and you know, hopefully training my voice to become what it is today. And yeah. And you got kind of a big bass voice there, right? Yes, I yeah. do. I really enjoy singing like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the drummer, we got Stephen Pringle on drums. Yes. Stephen, that's me. Uh, hitting those skins there, uh, very cool. You just got that relaxed kind of thing. How long have you been Thank playing you. drums for? I've been playing drums for like. Four years yeah. about wow. there. I started. I started taking lessons at the end of grade seven. Uh, I'm currently in eleventh grade, um, but I stopped taking lessons now. I just play with these guys. So it's well, you know, one year let's tell. You you, you, yeah, <laughs> you got a good meter there, and you hit those things too. So you you know you got a lot of talent. Keep it up. Great stuff. Oh, thank you. Now uh, this sax player, uh, Kalen. Yeah, that's me. Hey, so what got you into playing saxophone? Uh, I worked my way up through the school band program actually, and played concert for most of my life. And then I met these guys, and all jazz from there on out. Right on. Still playing a concert band though. Cool. And then we got Anthony, the bass player. How are you, Anthony? Very good. How are you? I'm doing good. And you've been playing bass for how long? Uh, I've been playing bass. Uh, this is almost my sixth year. Wow. Um, I started playing, I originally started playing piano, however, I seen the Beatles and being a lefty, I seen Paul McCartney play bass, that's what sort of got me into it. And so I started playing, and I got a bass for, my, for Christmas, and then a year and a half later I met Jamie, and it sort of just branched out from there from us start forming the group and things like that. So you've probably grown a few inches since you got your first bass. Now, did you have like a full-size bass? And oh, no, no, not the upright, no. No, 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 no yeah. the, the, the big one. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's cool. So what got you, you four into doing the jazz thing? Um, in my opinion, what got us in was just, you know, the enjoyment of playing unique music. Like nowadays, a lot of people, they don't, you know, they don't play... Um, I wouldn't say that the music is bad or anything, but they don't play um, music that's straight from the soul. And I think through jazz, it really comes out because it's just an expression of music. Like, you don't have to work too hard to be able to play such amazing stuff, and that all comes from the heart, right? Yes, and, and you don't have, what do they call it when they take their voice and they... Uh, auto-tune? Yeah, auto-tune. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did not see one auto-tune on your guys' stage on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Now, uh, what's in uh, in store for uh, Clavinova Nights? Uh, what's in the store? Okay, well, we're getting some upcoming gigs from a couple of churches called QAS and uh, St. Clair's this December. But what really matters is the Rudo's Restaurant gig um, on the 11th at, uh, Anthony, was it 7 p.m.? I think it's 7 p.m., yeah. Yeah, so at 7 p.m., and uh, me and Anthony are going to be there. We're trying to get Kaylin and Steven in there as well. But yeah, yeah that's, that's great. great. Also Excellent. planning on recording a little bit, too, in the upcoming months as well, so we're, we're excited for that. Excellent. Recording. Yeah. Now, have you all been in the studio before, or do you just sort of play around? Uh, I, I've been on studios. I've been called for certain session musician things. Yeah. But this will be the first time playing as a member of, like, a group I've been founded with and worked with a lot. Probably most excited for this one, and yeah. I know the boys are too. Yeah, and yeah you know, in fact, excited. we uh, we we got some studio time in Nashville with our uh, uh, school uh, band music choir program. So we uh, we actually performed yeah, really and cool. uh, recorded in uh, the one that Elvis the Studio B. Yeah, yeah. yeah Studio B. So it was, it was pretty good there. Yeah, yeah it's kind of nice. You walk in there and you get that vibe. I've been down exactly. there. It's like I'm just excited. I don't know if it's because Elvis has been here and you know everybody else has been here, but yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. Now, Kaelin, you said you've been mm -hmm. in the studio, too? Yeah, I've been down at Nimbus with another band of mine, and it was a lot of fun recording. Yeah, yeah. And Kevin Williams, was he helping you down at Nimbus, or was it the other guys? I don't remember, maybe. Okay, cool. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to going in 
again. Excellent. Okay, guys, well, we have something called the Jazz Show Sunday nights from 6 till 9, uh, the Jazz Fly. Ross uh, uh, plays the music here. So when you get your stuff on to... I guess it's not on disc anymore, is it? <laughs> Turn it on. But get us some music and we'll make sure we play it for you. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Clavinova Knights are playing down at Rodos. Uh, Gregory and the staff over there. So thank you, gentlemen, and uh, congrats on the Audience Choice Awards. Thank you very, very much. much. Thank you. Oh, please visit oh. us on uh, clavinovanights.com. Uh, please like and subscribe on our YouTube, and please um, take a look at our Facebook page. Thank what you. he said, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, what he said? Is that, is that the, just yeah. so he covered everything? Yeah. Oh, now, first off, you have to thank someone special here because... Uh, they drive you around, they got your oh, instruments, yes, yes. they give you oh, yeah. food, they give you board. Yes. Last but not least, yes, uh, our parents, thank you very much, especially you. Um, uh, yeah, for supporting us. Also, our manager just so happens to be Jamie's dad, Mr. DeGia, and he does wonderful things. He also happens to be a photographer, too, he's a picture of photography, so he's... He's a wonderful guy, so yeah. Excellent. Gentlemen, uh, congratulations on that. Look forward to hearing from you. These uh, young guys here, Clavin Overnight School Kids from... Uh, school Kids? School Guys from Coquitlam. <laughs> uh, what was the school again? Um, Archbishop Carney Secondary. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for coming in and uh, get to class. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.